Hello there, Beck Benedict here. We're playing Devil May Cry 4 Special Edition on Dante Must Die difficulty, and this is my Triple S rank guide and walkthrough. We're currently on mission 04. It is entitled Cold Blooded. Uh, the stylish points that you need on this mission uh, 9250. Clear time of 33 minutes, which is absurd. <laughs> It'll never take you that long. And of course, you, you need to find 95% or more of the red orbs. Do you see where it says stylish points? I'm aware that it needs uh, a comma, but I don't put commas for uh, just four digits. Anyway, so irrelevant, but with with respect to the gyro blades, you need to hit them with the buster, and then that will open them up, uh, and then you need to start spinning them, and that will um, be done with a sword slash, and then you can use the buster again to um, push or hit the uh, gyro blade across the room. The nice thing about it is that it doesn't injure you, so it can actually it goes right through you and doesn't take any damage off you. So this is a room where I had a an absolutely perfect blitz fight, and that's going to happen. You're going to get really good fights on some areas, and then you're going to have a really shitty boss fight or something. That it always happens because you can't always have you know perfection. But after you kill the frosts, um, you're going to notice that this blitz comes in here. And what you want to be doing is making sure that you are uh, charged up to level 3 of the gun. And if you want to use the double trigger with the charge shot level 3, that's going to take more damage off the blitz. What you need to do is remove his electric field. And this guy is just fast. He's very fast. It's difficult to do this without getting hit. Um, so... You don't really, you're not going to be using the sword, so don't worry about getting max axe over here. So as you can see, things happen so fast, but when you have destroyed his barrier, he's going to be grabbable. So what you want to be doing is firing a charged shot at him, using devil trigger, and then grabbing him. And if, if you want to, you can try to grab him, because um, Nero launches him, you can grab him in the air again. And w with all of the grab damage and charge shot level threes um, because during the animations of him being grabbed and getting tossed up you know you can charge shot level three into him and if you have double trigger activated it'll take even more off so the reason I said that, that I said that that fight was perfect was not because I performed perfectly but only because once um w once you do all of those throws on him he will have a um uh, a red his force field will be weakened and red and I think he gets a little bit faster when he moves around the room and he has a grab that uh, if you're not at full health you can get some extremely high damage uh, put onto your um, your character so it it's ideal that after you do all of that um, throwing of him and charge shot level three it's the best ideal situation is that he go he, he's instantly um, blows up um, because once he gets into that red phase he doesn't need to be you don't need to put any more damage on him but he can be extremely deadly so do you know that part where he kind of just stopped and blew up you can get that right after the, the you're grabbing of him or or, or after um, him you know doing his expiration phase which um, which can take a long time actually um, when you get into this room though you can hit the gyro blade hit the gyro blade and bring it down there and destroy the coffin if you like I'm not going to do that because we can do it in the next chapter okay so here are the Bianco Angelus this enemy is so fucking fun to fight I love fighting this enemy um, you can use um, the caliber to get over to them you can grab them in the air and you can do um, damage to their shield, but if you if you want to, you don't even need to mess with their shield. You can just jump behind them and grab them from the from behind. And if you grab an enemy in this game, and you um, and you want to use double trigger, the game will let you um, activate double trigger during the throw. So uh, that enemy is so fun. I can't tell you how fun that enemy is. And you might say to yourself. You know, why aren't you having fun playing Devil May Cry 5? I, I just don't care for it. I really um, I really don't at this point. I don't like it. And I think that this game is... Uh, this game is a perfect game. It's perfect. It's 
absolutely perfect. It is so fun to play this game. And DMC5 is fun too, but I don't like the scoring system. Anyway, the move that you really need to get good with is the caliber. The move I did right there, I think it was. Because on a lot of enemies and a lot of bosses, uh, using that caliber move, which is a horizontal um, dash move in the air, um, it will come in very handy on Sanctus, and it is a, uh, a really good way to get to an enemy quickly who's being evasive and closing in distance. The, um, the caliber, though, for me, I, I had a hard time initially when I started to play this game, I had a hard time getting it to work, and I, I found out what the problem was. It, it wasn't that I was not inputting the c commands right, it was that um, unless you're at a standstill, like you've stopped all of your, your movements, the caliber doesn't work. But interestingly enough, on Devil May Cry 5, you don't have to completely stop what you're doing. You can um, you can transition right into a caliber and do it that way. So uh, on this game, it's it's pretty strict. You have to stop what you're doing and then do the do the move. And it was it was interesting though when I played Devil May Cry 5 that it was so flexible. I, I do like that, but the thing is, I'm a person who hates boss fights, and this game made me not hate boss fights but actually really enjoy the boss fights i don't think there are many boss fights in this game that i don't like and that doesn't mean well now now i like boss fights in general i'm just saying now i like the boss fights in this game because this game is a fucking masterpiece it is so good and the styling system is is fair and it's fun what you what you accumulate throughout the stage that's your that's that's what you get you know you're not uh, at the mercy of some, you know, silly averaging system and, and things like that. Anyway, guys. Anyway, um, we have um, we've we've got a new enemy, the Me Mega Scarecrow. But first of all, let me talk about this part over here. You're going to be hitting this uh, gyro blade down the room, and if you want some advice about getting the red orbs. Get the red orbs in the same way that you get them each time, so that way you're less prone to make a mistake about getting the orbs. Anybody can just miss an orb. The first time I went through this stage a couple of nights ago, before I got sick, I got 99% of the orbs, which is uh, is fine, you know. But for my standards, it's not fine enough. So um, I, uh, you know, and like I said, anybody can miss an, an orb. It's real easy to miss the orbs. And I like, I like how this game uh, forces you to get the orbs. I just, I really like it. I like um, getting them and, and finding them. And it's fun to find little caches of them. It's quite fun. So, we're going to move on down here. Bail, I, I pwned him. I pwned him hardcore. I fucking owned him. But the thing is, I got eaten. So... You might say, well, you fucked it up, man. You fucked everything up. But no, nah, no, Bale, I, uh, I I, owned him. Okay, so once you hit the gyro blade down over here, you're going to be uh, moving two of them in succession. And the, the way that I'm doing this, using the gyro blade to kill all of these scarecrows, it's not the best idea because you can't build up double trigger very well doing this. So it would be really good to start Bayal with full Devil Trigger, and I I had three, but um, you know what what can you do? Nobody's perfect. So um, Bayal, he I was um I, I just I like the damage that you do enemies on this game. It's it's just fair, you know. I, I can't say it. And that's not to say DMC Five is unfair, but it's just they had they had ten years to make this game. No, no, no. Wait a minute. It's not ten years. They had when did this fucking game come out? I don't know, but it feels like it was twelve years ago. Was it? I mean, didn't this game come out in two thousand seven? No, two thousand eight. I know it was two thousand eight. So eleven years. Eleven years to to make something good. And they did make something good. I mean, they made a great game, but 
I will always go back to that. You you fucking assholes had 11 years to get this done and have it work as good as this game. And you couldn't do it, could you? Um, anyway, on the boss, Bayel, uh, I looked in the library and the... Um, the the Bayels, they're uh, they're actually a family of, of toads that use these um, um, sensual sort of um, water nymphs to attract prey so that they can eat them. So it's actually a fun, it's a really fun boss fight because you're not always fighting the toad, you're fighting the um, the nymphs, and they're very evasive too. Um, and and what it is too, they have some sort of a According to the lore of the game, they have some sort of a gas that um, makes them invisible, and then they can use the water nymphs to um, lure the lure their prey to them, so that they can uh, fill their bellies with food, uh, which would be us. Um, so anyway, what I'm doing now is I'm just going around and checking every corner and every little area so that I don't miss a single orb because I can't. I'm doing 100%. So um, we are coming up to him. And it is, um, you deal really good damage in this game. I can't believe it. Like, you really deal some good damage. Now, the, the weak spot of him is his tongue. So, that's actually kind of a dangerous place, though, because he jumps at you a lot and tries to eat you. If you get eaten, um, I don't know. I, I feel a little ashamed of it, but if you do get eaten, just activate double trigger and you'll get out of it. Um, on, on these sections here where the water nymphs are circling around you what you need to do is use the snatch and also use the the buster to grab them and they're very evasive but just keep at it and you will eventually um hit hit them in a certain way that will make them flinch fall down and be grabbable um and the, i would say that that's a good move um you um the reason I don't want to use the the sword too much, I am using it a little bit, but when he comes and the fight starts, I don't want to not have my my sword charged all the way up. So I just want to make sure that I can grab and then get on with it. So once you deal some damage to these things, you are going to get a cutscene. And of course I trim out all my cutscenes, but he will come and you just need to dodge uh, either left or right. And what I like to do is... Uh, calibers over to him and then when I hit him activate double trigger start you know start doing that start building up damage and then use the charge shot level 3 this should be it right about here here he is here he is um, so jump caliber and then you need to be aware of that I did I did get eaten I think did I get eaten or not I must have I must have uh, but he jumps away from you if you want to hit him with the um, the maximum bet from way back there you can you gotta be quick about it though, because he uses that gas to um, to hide himself, and um, once they're brown like that too, they're it's a free grab. It's really good, but make sure they don't grab you because if they do grab you, um, all right there too. See how they come at you like that? You can interrupt them and throw them. Um, uh, if they grab you though, he's gonna come out of his hiding spot. There he goes. He flinched, and I can hit him, grab him. And fuck him up that way. I should have acted. Why didn't I activate double trigger? I, I maybe I did. But like, like I was saying, if they grab you, um, you get frozen, and then he comes at you. So you've got to be really careful about that, and you need double trigger to get out of it. Look at this. S S S. I'm really not familiar with seeing that too much on a boss because I'm I'm usually very reserved about everything. But there's the Rasulco corpse. And now I'm going to try to do the maximum or the max act and fail it about 150 fucking thousand times because that's how it works in this game. Sometimes you keep getting it, you know, and you're really thinking that you're good at it. And then you try to get the max act and you do it a hundred times and you can't get it. It's just, it's so weird. I've heard that the PS2 controller is the best controller for that and for this game in general, but um, I don't have one. Um, you probably can hook one up to the PC somehow, but yeah, the PS2 controller. And I heard that out of Kiernoth's mouth. Kiernoth is a professional DMC4 player, and I can't find his channel anymore. When when uh, DMC5 came out, I don't know what happened to him. 
I guess too many people were asking me if, if he was going to play the game. I would get sick of it too. But, but poor old Kiranoth, he had to wait 11 years. I don't know anything about Kiranoth, but I do know that he had a channel and now for some reason it's gone. But 11 years waiting for a game. And it's not like we were waiting around. We didn't know it was going to come out in the first place. But with other games getting releases you know, so quickly within a year or two of each other, and then a game like this... These games are extremely rare when you think about it. Anyway, I will see you in Mission 05 for Mission 04. This is Big Benedict. Please take care.